Steelers and Jaguars coming up here on EA Sports as we get set for today's Week 5 matchup. One team's on a roll here, a three-game winning streak, and things are starting to click, Phil. Yeah, when you're on a roll, Jim, and you've won a few games in a row, your confidence level, it's just through the roof. And even when you get behind, you go, no big deal. We got that confidence inside. We've done it before. We'll do it again. I think they're gonna, I think they're a very dangerous team here today. And he's going to give his team great starting field position on that return. <laughs> down on the way defense with plenty of bodies in the box here on this play Bridgewater's got it in the gun scrambling now the defense gets a sack I don't know if they were confused or not but the left side of the offensive line that time they were not aggressive they got pushed back and they give up a sack of the quarterback The Jaguars decked out in a lot of pink. And we see pink throughout the building. It's Breast Cancer Awareness Month in the NFL. The Jaguars take it from the 33. Makes the play. I think when I was playing, anytime we crossed the 50-yard line, it was kind of like a big sigh of relief. Because I knew now that there were a lot of things that could take place. I could afford to take sacks. I could uh, afford to be a little more aggressive. Let's see how the offense reacts to this. First down, offense readying for the snap. Let's see what they do on first down following that huge play. They'll run it. Here's the handoff. Brought down at the 32. Here's a look at the Jaguars line up on offense today. Can this unit finally gel and figure out a way to start moving the football down the field? The Jaguars from the 32. Heaving it down the field. Throws it in the end zone. Touchdown. That was a sweet touchdown right there. Just a nice throw by the quarterback. He put it right on the money. The receiver makes the catch. Beautiful touchdown. Inside of the uprights. Sproles is running this one out. This big return is going to set up his team in excellent field position. First down here. Jumps up and hauls it in. First down here after the completion. And Holmes is going to get set go, in the slot please, for this please, snap. Please, please, please. We'll send it back to the quarterback out of the gun. Looking across the middle, Kenny Vitaro in on the interception. And he's brought to the ground. Nice job of the defense that time. In position, they read the quarterback's eyes, and it led to an interception. They come to the line, and it's first down. The Jaguars are going to run the Wildcat offense here. Right, here we go. One, nine, they tap on for a loss. Here's how 
the Steelers' defense. They know they need to force turnovers today, coming off a game in which they had no takeaways. Split backfield here. Second and 11. Got the completion. And now they'll be on the other side of the 50 after this play. Well, when you talk about throwing these sideline routes or the out route, it is about timing. When that receiver makes that break to go towards the sideline, that football has to be in the air. Nice throw and catch that time. The Jaguars coaching staff probably wouldn't mind avoiding these close games every week. But right now they're winning another tightly. Man intercepted. That'll stop the play right there. That was an awesome job by the defense. They just read the quarterback's eyes. They got in position, and they made the interception. First down coming up. Sproles is in the backfield. Halfway through this first quarter now. Down the field. Firing it way down the field. A receiver is there, and he has the ball deep down the field. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. Let's see how they back up the big play here. Sproles. Nothing there as this goes for a loss of two. Here's the Steelers' offense. They're a hard team to get off the field because third down this season has gone their way, converting at a very high rate. Offense lines up here. Second down and 12. And Morgan's in on the coverage and forces the incompletion. And now here's the Jags. Defense stacks up, specializing in taking the football away. And as a team overall, second in the league in turnover differential. Play fails to work, and now it's third down. Quarters formation here for the go, defense. Portal standing back in the shotgun, ready for the snap. Finds AJ Green. the Steelers moving inside the 20 and the red zone last week they just feasted on that part of the field it scrolls in the backfield portals going to take it from the gun Kenny Vaccaro reads that one and makes the pick he's stacked up at that point you got to stay aggressive on the defensive side that time the defense did even though the offense was going in to score, they finally they come up with the big play and they get the interception inside their own 20-yard line. They come to the line of scrimmage. First down. The Steelers' defense lined up in a 4-6 formation. Bridgewater's going to take the snap from the shotgun. Takes off with it. Well, that time the quarterback didn't hold the football. The left side of the line, just they just collapse. He doesn't even feel it or see it, and he goes down for the sack. Coming up, second down. Bridgewater by himself in the backfield, trying to beat the play clock. And they get to him before he can get out of the end zone. They've got a safety.
Raynaud from the 15. And the tackle is made right around the 26-yard line. They face first down. And Holmes is lined up in the slot. Portals back in shotgun formation. Goes deep to A.J. Green. Intercepted. Just brought to a halt. Good job that time by the defense. Not being full. Being in position. When you're in position, you have a chance to make the play. That time they did. They got the interception. It's first down as they head to the line. Bridgewater will have it in the pistol. Keeps it here. Throws to the right. To Jones. Count it. Touchdown. That was a nice job that time by the offense. Driving down for the touchdown to increase their lead. That really takes a lot of pressure off the defense. Driving extra point is good. The Steelers set to return the kick. Sproles is going to test the coverage here. No one's going to get him now. He's at the 50. This is a big-time return. There is nothing like a good return when you talk about special teams. Good blocking. The speed of the returner gets down the field. And after that tackle, now they have good starting field position. Allen's lined up now as a slot receiver. First and ten. Keeps it here. He'll throw it over the middle. Green's got it. First down. This is where games are won and lost. Once an offense gets down the red zone, even though they're down more than seven, can you find a way to punch it in there for the touchdown and not settle for a field goal? The Steelers will attempt to carry over that momentum after that huge play before the end of the first. First down here. The offense lined up in the full house. And the second quarter is underway with this snap. They're going to get him here for a sack. Well, when you see the defense is going to blitz, and you can't pick it up. As a quarterback, you've got to change the pass protection. Remember, protect yourself at all times. He didn't do it, so he goes down. Second down coming up. Portals got it in the gun. Has Allen. And they knock him down just a yard away from the first. Find a way to score. That's always the mantra with every team when they get in the red zone. If you punch it in here, even though you're down by more than seven, it'll give you confidence for the rest of the game. Has Allen. And Allen is stopped there. Good job that time by the offense. They pick up a first down inside the 20-yard line. Now we'll see if they can punch it in and get seven points. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. And Starks has got it now. Counter run play. Gains may be fine. They keep fighting for every inch, every yard, as they move closer and closer to the end zone. Now this offense, they fit perfectly with the head coach. He's a tough guy. He's a grinder. And this offense, what a job here right now. They are grinding this football, like you said, right down the field. Touchdown and drawing close. Touchdown, the fullback in most offenses in the NFL very seldom gets to carry the football, but down near the goal line, they serve a good purpose. Quick hitting plays by a big, powerful guy gets it done. Steelers setting up here for the kickoff. Good 
Rollins is going to run this one out. And the tackle's made right around the 26-yard line. The Jaguars bring their offense back onto the field for their next drive. Looks like they're going to run the Wildcat. Here we go. First down and 10. Swallowed up behind the line of scrimmage. Good job by the defense. They stopped the first down play that time by the offense, and now they have a good situation. That second down coming up. Taking off. He's tackled beyond the markers. It's a first down. Nothing like seeing a complete offense. That's what we're watching here today. Yes, we know they can throw it, but what they're showing us here, they can grind out some first downs running the football, too. First down here after the run. Wide receivers stacked up on this play. Takes it on the counter. He is tackled at the 40-yard line. If you want to run the football with success, you're going to have plays like this where they pick up very little yardage. Don't listen to the fans. Keep running it, and it'll work. Second down. Defense filling up the box here with a 4-6 formation. Bridgewater standing back in the shotgun ready for the snap. And he's forced to the ground. There is nothing worse for a quarterback than have the pocket collapse. And that time it collapsed on his left side. There's nothing he can do. And he goes down for the sack. The defense just mauling the quarterback. It'll be third and 16 after the sack. Bridgewater's going to take it from the gun. Looks to his left. He's wide open for the grab. First down here after the completion. First down following the long play. Richwater's going to take the snap from the shotgun. Julio Jones with the grab, and he races out of bounds at that point. When you have an offense like this that just keeps getting first downs, not only are they moving in scoring position, but they're giving their defense a lot of rest. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. Wide receivers are bunched up. Let's go! Dagger! Dagger! From the gun. Looking long to Julio Jones. And the 40 nearly picks that pass off. Well, the defense has to be depressed after that play because when you get a chance to get off the field, get a turnover, and get the offense off the field, man, you got to take advantage of situations like that. After the incomplete pass, it brings up second down. Let's this go. will probably be the last play before the two-minute warning. Ball's picked off. And that's Willis in on the stop. Willis is able to show off those great hands and picking off that pass from the linebacker position. What a job and what a pair of hands. Two minutes to go in the first half and a first down. Offense lines up here. Now first and ten. Going for the deep ball. Almost intercepted. Half time, two minutes away. Second down after the incompletion. Plenty of defensive backs out on the field for this one. Dropping back now into the shotgun. Goes deep to A.J. Green, but it's incomplete. 
Just not a good decision by the quarterback. I mean, maybe on the sidelines they keep calling the wrong plays, but he's attacking the strength of this cover two defense. Don't do that. Throw where they're not. That's deep down the middle. Empty backfield look for Bortles here. For the Steelers, snap it up at the 26. He makes the catch. It's Mayo who brings him down. Good job by the quarterback completing that pass against the zone defense. Look for the open space when you throw against zones. That's what he did, and he got the nice completion. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. This play set up by the long gainer. Darren Sproles makes the catch. That's a pickup of 14. How about that? You throw the football behind the line of scrimmage, and the running back catches it and makes a big play out of it. He's able to make people miss, and he can break tackles. This guy is a force. Corners formation here for the defense. The Steelers have it at the 39. He'll keep it on the play fake. Incomplete. Second down coming up. Sproles is in the backfield. Green, 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 90. Green, 90. Go, go, go. Plenty of defensive backs out on the field for this green, one. Green, go, 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 go. Go, go, go. Back to the end rail. Back to the end rail. The Steelers lined up. Bunch formation. And Sproles is brought down. Good job by the defensive line standing in there and fighting, and they hold the running back to a short game. The offense heads to the line for the seventh play of the drive. Quarters formation here for the defense. Third and seven, throws the pass. Incomplete, almost going in the other direction. Every quarterback in the NFL is going to have one or two passes a game. They can be picked off. Most of the time, they're dropped. And this time, that was a bad drop by the defense. No good. No good. I think it was a risky decision to send him out there and kick this long field goal. They miss it. And look what they've done. They've given the other team's offense very good field position. First down on the way. Split backfield here. Bridgewater's back in shotgun formation. Looking long. And they can't connect. Good try. Throw it deep down the field. It's a beautiful throw, but it just goes incomplete. This will be second down. Tagger. The Jaguars all bunched up here as they get set at the line. Setting up screen. He was looking short, but the pass falls incomplete. Well, there's a phrase we have for quarterbacks that get a little nervous in the pocket. We call it cabin fever. I think that's what happened that time. He got a little nervous, and the throw was way off the mark. Following that incompletion, it sets up third and ten. Richardson lined up in the backfield. Two dead. Two dead. Two dead. They'll go shotgun here. And they sack the quarterback. And that's a quick series, a three and out. Well, that time the quarterback is sacked on the third down. And that's, of course, that's bad. But the good thing is. He did not try to force the football down the field and get the turnover. <laughs> the 
the Steelers get ready to start their drive. Plenty of defensive backs out on the field for this one. Screen reaches out and snatches it. He's tackled at the 30. The Steelers are going to use one of the two timeouts they have remaining. That pass play picked up only four. Second down and six coming up. Ready for intermission. First, one more play. And he's thrown to the ground. That does it for the first half. Steelers trailing this one. We'll be back in a moment with the first half analysis. Jim Nance, Bill Sims. Everbank Field is our site today. And the third quarter is about to commence. And this is Raynon running it out. And they have him covered up and bring him down inside of the 15. The Steelers bring their offense back onto the field for their next drive. Sproles is lined up behind his quarterback as the single back. the first snap of the second half. It's Bennett in on the stop. Well, I think we all know the situation here. It's a close game in the second half, and you're losing, but you pick up a first down. Oh, my gosh. That opens up many more possibilities what you can do on the offensive side. Good job by the offense. First down here after the completion. An extra tight end on the field for this one. Darren Sproles takes the football. When you run the football like this and you show toughness, there is no doubt when you fake it and try to throw the football down the field, the quarterback's going to have all day to get it done. And here we have second down. They bring in the extra tight end. The give. Sproles inside. And he's tackled at the 32-yard line. The Steelers, good job that time moving the chains, picking up that first down. And, Jim, of course, there's no time to panic in a situation like this. I think they know that. It's in the second half. You got, you're got you down just a few points. Just keep looking for ways to get another first down, and that'll serve your team well. Coming to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. The Steelers from the 32. Here's the give to James Starks. Good job by the defense. They stopped the offense that time on first down. Now the defense is in a good situation. That leads us to second down. The Steelers have it at the 34. Brings it into his body. And Morgan's in on the tackle. That's a nice route on the outside. Nice throw by the quarterback. Puts him in good position to keep moving and get a first down. They complete the pass, but still not enough for the first. Third down coming up. Green's a receiver in the slot. Portals got it in the gun. He's looking to the right here on this throw. I know we've all heard this phrase before. That's why they're playing defense, because they can't catch. Hey, the coaches don't care about that. When you get an opportunity, they want you to make the catch. The kick is good. The kick is good from downtown. That was a good hold, good kick. Three points. Good job by the offense. They're setting up the return. And he's going to give his team great starting field position on that return. The Jaguars come to the line. They'll start this drive at the 33. 
Defense comes out in a 4-6 formation. First down at the 33. Handoff. Taken down at the 39. That was a power running play that time by the offense. It picked up some good yards. Nothing like it. Show the defense you're willing to get in there and slug it out and get some tough running yards. Big set here for the defense. Lining up in the 4-6. Second down, four to go. To the ground. That's a tackle right near the 48. That's a nice play that time by the offense. Getting the first down. They're up here in the second half, and they're moving the football. That is a great feeling. New set of downs now after picking up the first on the ground. He's setting up here. He's been sacked five times today. Really been beat up. That'll put them in what we call plus territory. When you're an offensive lineman and you can line up and just run the football straight ahead and pick up those kind of yards, you are going to get into the head of the defense. You're basically saying we're tougher than you are and we're just going to come right at you. Defense with plenty of bodies in the box here on this play. Defense filling up the box here with a 4-6 formation. Second down and five. Now on the move. Thought about it. Still has it. The defense gets the sack. I don't know if they were confused or not, but the left side of the offensive line that time, they were not aggressive. They got pushed back, and they give up a sack of the quarterback. Let's see what they do on this third down situation. Split backfield here. Bridgewater standing back in the shotgun, ready for the snap. That's awesome. Every time you pick up a first down, what does that do? It shortens the game, also keeps your defense on the sideline, and they get their, get rested up and ready for their turn. But you got a lead here. It's a small one in the second half. Keep getting those first downs. The Steelers' defense lined up going with the 46 defense. And now he'll take off. And picks up maybe three or four. Play number six coming up on this drive. The Steelers load up the box, going with the 46 defense. Second down and seven. Here's the handoff, and they'll run it. That brings the play to an end. They'll go with two tight ends. And Irvin's all over the ball carrier. The Steelers' defense is just one of the best in the NFL. What a job that time of the run play. They get penetration. They get in the backfield. And they make the tackle for a loss. The kick, and it's through there. The kick is good. Well, even though they get the field goal that time, it's still disappointing. You get in that position. You'd like to score a touchdown. Sproles is going to test the coverage this time. And he's tackled just past the 20. We'll mark it at the 22-yard line. The Steelers are set for their next possession. Bortles will be taking this snap out of the pistol. First down at the 22. 
looking to the right side and throwing. A.J. Green there with sure hands to pull in the rocket pass. The Steelers look pretty confident out there on the field, don't they? And they're, they're very calm, and they should be. That first down, they're right in this game. Down a couple points here in the second half. Don't look down the field for that big play. Just keep marching. Final quarter underway now with this snap. Brought down right at the 50. When you can't hit the quarterback or put pressure on him, there's not much you're going to get done there. That time, quarterback had time and throws it down the field for another completion. After that grab, it's now second down and two. It scrolls in the backfield. Wide open for the catch. Gains 18. Big first down by the offense that time here in the second half. They're losing a close game, and you get that first down. It just gives you confidence. It opens up the playbook, and it just gives you a better chance of going down the field and getting the score. Empty backfield look for Bortles hey, here. Hey, 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 hey. Go, go, go. First down at the 32. Double covered and incomplete that time. Man, the quarterback, the coaches, his teammates, everybody loves to see a players give that type of effort. How about the receiver just going all out to make the catch? Doesn't quite get there, but the effort is outstanding. Wide receivers stacked up on this play. Second and ten. Eyeing that left side. A.J. Green is tackled down. Well, I guess the best thing to say there, Jim, is they completed the pass, but it still did not get a first down. Third down now. Full house formation. Looking across the middle. There's the offense picking up another first down on third down. Well, I think we all know the situation here. It's a close game in the second half, and you're losing. But you pick up a first down. Oh, my gosh. That opens up many more possibilities what you could do on the offensive side. Good job by the offense. Portal's going to be in the pistol here. Oh no. Move for the Move for the First down at the 21. Trying to work that left side. Anytime your team is down, you're inside the other team's red zone, you look for one of your star players, your quarterback, wide receiver, or running back. They need to make a big play here. It's now second down. Offense lines up here. He'll throw it over the middle. Underneath and incomplete that time. Third down on the way. Coming to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. Touchdown, Pittsburgh Steelers. Well, if your touchdown offense goes out there and scores a touchdown to put you ahead, it's got to give a big lift to the defense. they got to get excited and go out there and hold that lead. offense and the head coach and the offensive coordinator they're all aggressive so hey well it's not good enough just to get a touchdown they want to get that extra point or two points nice job that time and they're all over him at the 18 yard line
First down, offense readying for the snap. and make the hit. Got to give the defense some credit on first down. There's so many things the offense can do. They were ready for that play, and they stopped it. After running it, it's second down. The Jaguars come to the line, and they put their receivers in a bunch formation. Bridgewater is going to take it from the gun. Right at the 42. The Jaguars did a good job that time picking up the first down. Let's look at the situation. You're behind just by a few points in the second half. You keep looking to pick up those first downs, and I know you get it up. What does it do? Pretty simple. It leads to a score. Bridgewater's going to take the snap from the shotgun, getting away from the pressure. Ball's out. The defense has the football. The tackle is made. Well, that's what you call a takeaway. That time, the defense the just hit the ball carrier so hard that he had to give the football up, and they lose it. The Steelers come onto the field for their next series. Sproles is in the backfield. First down at the 40. Sproles. This run goes nowhere. Stopped for a loss of four. Good job by the defense. They stopped the first down play that time by the offense. And now they have a good situation. Second down after going to the ground game, the first play. The Steelers will come out in the pistol. Time is beginning to run out here midway in the fourth. Oh, it almost picked off that time. That was an incomplete pass that time against cover two, the two deep safeties. And you really want to throw the football down the middle or deep down the sidelines. That time the quarterback didn't do that, and that's why it was incomplete. This is third down. The defense needs a big stop here in order to give the offense a chance as we're running low on time in this one. Looks but can't connect on the short throw. Jim, when you get in these situations, there's not much you can do. Third long, not easy to pick up first downs in these type of situations. It'll be a touchback. First down here. This game is not over, but the quarterback knows that time is short and his team must do something in a hurry. He's brought down. They'll try over again on second down. Time is running out here in the fourth, and the defense is trying to preserve this win. Bridgewater's back in shotgun formation. The reception, easy, wide open. Big first down by the offense that time. Here in the second half, they're losing a close game, and you get that first down. It just gives you confidence. It opens up the playbook, and it just gives you a better chance of going down the field and getting the score. Let's go! First and ten. Could have been intercepted. Just two minutes left in this one now. Back in a moment. Every play is huge now. Second down on the way. We're drawing near a close. And the defense is trying to preserve a victory. He'll fire it out to the left. Almost intercepted. The defense did everything right in that situation. They were in the right spot. They were smart. They read the quarterback's eyes. But 
they dropped the pass. Third down coming up, needing a first at this point. The Jaguars come to the line with a bunch set. From the shotgun. Throws to the right. My goodness, what a hit. And the ball falls incomplete. That was a big hit by the defender that time. The receiver drops the football. I'll tell you what, I guarantee you the next time he goes over the middle, he'll be looking for that defender. Back at the line. They're going for it on fourth. Lee's in the slot. Let's go. Lee's the play. Bridgewater's got it in the gun. They'll turn it over on downs. Jim, I think you're in no man's land. What do you do? Do you punch and go for it? You can't disagree with this decision. The coach decides to go for it, and it doesn't work. Great starting field position for the offense. Go, go, go. It scrolls in the backfield. First and ten, Darren Sproles takes the football. Barrow is the one who made the big stop. Good job by the defense. They stopped the offense that time on first down. Now the defense is in a good situation. Second down following the run. The Steelers line up in the pistol offense. Sproles is going to take the handoff now. That's a timeout call. It'll be third down. Coming to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. And he's going to be tackled, and that's going to bring us to fourth down. Rose is going to be tired after this run. That is a good long run. The offensive line was terrific, and he does a good job finding the hole and picking up those yards. position Jim you got to take advantage of it the offense didn't do it I blame the coach those were terrible play calls but a good kick by the kicker he'll take it from the four and the tackle is made right around the 26 yard line Jaguars are at the line and they are out of timeouts. First down. Let's Two see what dead. they come up with Two here. Two dead. Two dead. Two dead. Bridgewater standing back in the shotgun ready for the snap. To the outside. The catch is made. Well, I think we all know the situation here. It's a close game in the second half and you're losing, but you pick up a first down. Oh my gosh. That opens up many more possibilities what you can do on the offensive side. Good job by the offense. Defense comes out in a 4-6 formation. First down and 10. Launches it down the field. And it's incomplete. Well, you must on the offensive side throw the football deep three or four times a game. That time, they're just not able to connect on the deep throw. The Jaguars head to the line and out of timeouts. 
Bridgewater by himself in the backfield. The Jaguars snap it at the 36. Throwing now to his left. Out to Jennings. Brought down at the 38. The Jaguars just picked up a big first down that time, Jim. When you're down by a few points in the second half, every first down is crucial. Nice job that time by the offense. I agree with spiking the football here, Jim. You spike it, uh, you stop the clock, and it gives you time to have a little breather to think of the situation and call a good play in the huddle. Second down, late in the fourth quarter. Wide receivers are bunched up. The Jaguars take it from the 38. Looking long. Got what he wanted. Touchdown. Boy, the defense is going to be upset after this long touchdown throw by the quarterback and receiver. They made a mistake out of position, and the offense took advantage of it, and they get the long throw for a touchdown out of it. Kickers ready to go. That's a touchback, and the ball will be spotted at the 20. Now on first down, every snap crucial the rest of the way. Coming to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. First down at the 20. He's looking to the right here on this throw. Tim, here in the fourth quarter, when you're down, what you want to do is just keep that football moving. That time it's a short throw, he gets the completion. Good job. Second down coming up. Time, obviously, a factor the rest of the way. Here we go now. Snap it out of the gun. Throws the pass. A.J. Green with the catch. He's brought down right around the 43-yard line. The Steelers call a timeout. They're first. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. Sproles is in the backfield. Here we go. Here we go. Go, go, go. Knee, knee, knee. Knee, knee, knee. Portal's going to take it from the gun. Intercepted. A foot race to the end zone. The third, the 20. 